welcome everyone on a sandrens day in late february 2020 the stage was set for a momentous peace accord between the united states and the taliban the backdrop for this historic event was a luxurious middle eastern grand hotel where the world's attention converged as the principal figures from both sides arrived their disparate backgrounds and beliefs were visibly evident the american delegation under the guidance of the accomplished special envoy jalme khalil zad made a grand entrance in heavily fortified vehicles flanked by a retinue of security personnel they were dressed in sharp suits and ties representing the formality of diplomatic tradition in stark contrast the taliban's delegation led by their political chief mullah abdul ghani baradar arrived in a convoy of pristine white toyota land cruisers their attire was a testament to their traditional afghan heritage long loose tunics and trousers adorned with turbans or heads their untrimmed beards adhered to the taliban's strict dress code as the two delegations exchanged glances the weight of history hung heavily in the air the united states reflecting on its two decade long involvement in afghanistan and the taliban yearning to regain control of their homeland after a similar time span approached the moment with a stoic acknowledgement of their divergent paths with measured steps they entered the grand hotel a neutral ground for this epoch defining agreement intended to bring closer to the grueling 18 year war in afghanistan it was an occasion marked by the gravity of the past and promise of the future the nation mediating this monumental deal was none other than qatar a coastal country located near the mediterranean sea with shared borders with several countries boasting a population of over 2.8 million people of which approximately 12% are qatari citizens the rest are expatriates hailing from more than 200 countries primarily from south asia southeast asia and various arab states these diversity is a defining characteristics of the country shaping its culture language and religious tapestry Qatar not only embraces this diversity but also actively promotes tolerance inclusion and dialogue among its inhabitants for 150 years Qatar has been under the rule of a single family establishing a long standing tradition of governance despite its relatively small size Qatar stands out as one of the world's wealthiest nations with one of the highest gdp per capita figures on the global stage Qatar's geopolitical positioning is nothing short of unique the country has taken remarkable diplomatic steps notably by allowing the taliban hamas and the muslim brotherhood to establish offices in its capital doha a move that many other nations were hesitant to make furthermore qatar has played a pivotal role in mediating peace talks facilitating negotiations between the taliban and the usa and more recently between hamas and israel a stand out examples of qatar's role in international diplomacy is the agreement for bringing peace to afghanistan commonly referred to as the us taliban deal or doha accord This historic peace agreement signed on February 29, 2020 in Doha aimed to put an end to the protracted conflict in Afghanistan. Qatar's decision to provide diplomatic space for the Taliban reflected its commitment to conflict resolution. The agreement received widespread support from various regional and international actors including Pakistan, China, Russia and India. and it was unanimously endorsed by the united nations security council underscoring the importance of qatar's contribution to peace in negotiations qatar's unique geopolitical mission extends beyond diplomacy the country has hosted fifa world cup a remarkable achievement for a nation of its size the world cup presented qatar with an opportunity to showcase its culture hospitality and innovation to the world along with promoting a positive image of islam 
The event stood out for its unique features including being the first ever held during the Northern Autumn in the Arab world and featuring female referees. It was also the most compact, expensive and environmentally conscious World Cup with all stadiums situated in close proximity and numerous measures in place to reduce the and offset greenhouse gas emissions. After the tournament, Qatar plans to transform a fully demountable stadium into a new waterfront development. Qatar's geopolitical uniqueness also lies in its ability to balance relations with various regional and global powers while asserting its identity and influence on world stage. It weathered the storm of the Arab Spring without mass protests or regime change by implementing timely reforms such as granting more rights to women expanding social welfare programs and increasing public sector salaries. Qatar also played a mediating role in regional conflicts, including those in Yemen, Sudan and Lebanon and supported popular uprisings in Tunisia, Egypt, Libya and Syria. One of Qatar's most significant tools in exerting its soft power is Al Jazeera, a prominent media network headquartered in Doha and founded by the Qatari government. Al Jazeera has earned both praise and criticism for its independent and critical coverage of the Arab Spring and global issues. Amassing a large and loyal international audience, however, it has also faced accusations of bias by countries like Saudi Arabia, the UAE, Bahrain and Egypt, which imposed a blockade on Qatar in 2017, demanding the Qatar shut down Al Jazeera. Qatar in response defended Al Jazeera as a symbol of its sovereignty and soft power. Qatar's distinctive approach to geopolitics, its commitment to diplomacy, cultural promotion through international events, and the careful balance between modernity and tradition sets it apart on the global stage. It manages to embrace progress while preserving its heritage, integrating its past, present, and future harmoniously. This successful and resilient approach is a testament to Qatar's unique geopolitical mission.